ओके फिजिकल एंड केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑन मिल्क प्रोडक्ट सबसे पहले यहाँ बताने की जरूरत है कि यहाँ पे जो हम कुछ इंग्रेडिएंट्स का और इस हीट का इम्पैक्ट देखेंगे मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स में उसमें हर में एक चीज कॉमन होगी कि जो मिल्क का प्रोटीन है वो कॉगुलेट होता है डिजेनरेट होके वो उसमें कॉगुलेशन होना शुरू हो जाती है एंड दैट इज कैन बी सीन फिजिकली इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ कर्लिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ हीट डी न्यूट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन The way our serum protein alpha lactoglobulin and beta lactoglobulin they precipitate gradually with prolonged heating heat that is high also forms greater amounts of coagulum at the bottom of the pan than low heat the more higher the heat the more formation of coagulum will occur coagulum is the denatured whey protein forms in thin layer at the bottom of the pan upon heating Increasing temperature and length of heating may break the fat emulsion if the protein film around the fat globules globules break. What happens when we heat the milk? You can see a layer on top of the milk that is a fat layer along with the thin film of protein. So this is not only the fat but also uh, a thin layer of protein can be. seen there but as uh, but the main effect of uh, heat on protein is that it starts to coagulate at bottom of the pan also the millet reaction takes place which is a non enzymatic browning that occurs when a protein and a sugar are heated or stored together for a um, longer or period of time usme mm, aap browning hoti hue dekhenge जिसमें कोई एंजाइम नहीं इन्वॉल्व होता बल्कि प्रोटीन और शुगर का रिएक्शन होता है जिसकी वजह से वो ब्राउनिंग असर होती है एंड व्हेन द हीटिंग मिल्क प्रोटीन कॉगुलेट एंड सेटल ऑन द साइड्स ऑफ द बॉटम ऑफ द पैन दिस इज नोन एज स्क्वॉटिंग बाय ओवरहीटिंग द लैक्टोज इन द कॉगुलेटेड सॉलिड कैरेमेलाइजेस एंड दे कॉज द स्क्वॉटिंग you can see here the picture how does the scorching occur scum formation scum formation as i have told you it is also the denaturation of protein that leads to scum formation in the milk that contains milk products what is scum the denatured protein molecules get coagulated with the milk fat and forms a skin on the surface as i have told you before which then gets dried by evaporation this sticky film of protein is known as scum effects of enzyme rennet is a proteolytic enzyme what did i tell you about uh, rennet is that rennet is a is an enzyme that is present in the Uh, uh, lining of the calf, stomach lining of the calf. It is used in making of cabbage dessert, that is a clotted dessert. Maintenance of the temperature between 15 and 60 degrees Celsius is essential to the action of the enzymes. Otherwise, that enzyme may not work. The pH of milk it exists at 5.8 pH. Effect of salt on milk. Salt of various types also influences the stability of the proteins in milk-containing recipes, and the ability of the salt ions to interact with electrical charges on the surface of the milk protein enables the conflicting electrical charges to be reduced to an absolute absolute uh, minimum, which favors the denaturation and coagulation of milk protein. Salt can complicate the problem of heating meats in milk, as meat naturally contains some salt. It results in the formation of milk curds during cooking. So, in short, we can say the effect of salt on milk-containing recipes could affect that recipe in a way that it starts a formation of milk curds. Or, what is it? कि जो सॉल्ट के आयंस हैं जो भी इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्जेस मिल्क के जो सरफेस होती है प्रोटीन मिल्क प्रोटीन की जो सरफेस होती है उसके साथ बेसिकली वो इंटरेक्ट करता है और उस इंटरेक्शन के बाद जो है वो मिल्क की 
denaturation or coagulation start a jati hai. Effect of acid, the isoelectric point of milk is 4.6. Isoelectric point is the point where there will be no charcoal. The pH of milk normally is comfortable above its isoelectric point. Inclusion of fruits and some vegetables can reduce the pH of milk. Due to this, it approaches to its isoelectric point. So, as a result, what happens? Solubility of um, uh, casein decreases and curdling of the milk increases. Why is it happening? Because the acidic environment is the milk is milk. वो कड़क होना शुरू हो जाता है और जो केसीन होती है उसकी सोलिबिलिटी जो है वो कम हो जाती है ठीक है पीएच के डिफरेंस की वजह से सो ये जो हम डिफरेंट वेजिटेबल्स का अगर कुकिंग हम मिल्क के साथ उसकी करते हैं तो उसका जो डिफरेंट बिहेवियर हम देखते हैं अपनी कुकरी में वो बेसिकली किन दो चीजों की वजह से हो सकता है कि उनका पॉलीफिनॉल का जो कंटेंट है वो कितना है और उसका pH milk का किस कदर चेंज हो रहा है उस पर्टिकुलर वेजिटेबल एसिडिक वेजिटेबल के साथ मिलकर। The effect of heat on cheese products, the moisture and the fat content of cheese as well as the pH influence the ease with which cheese can be utilized in cooked products. So, in moist cheese, the proteins are loosely packed with lot of water that is interspread between them. So they readily liquefy. As it is, it becomes in contact with the heat. What happens? The since the protein are not that much uh, closely packed with each other, so वो इनके liquefy होना शुरू हो जाता है. We all know that when trees are come in contact with the heat, वो liquid बन जाता है, melt हो जाते हैं, as in uh, cup of the pizzas and sandwiches and pasta. High moisture content actually enables the cream cheese and mozzarella cheese blend easily than dry hard cheeses. वैसे ही मोज़रेला और जो दूसरी क्रीम चीज़ें होती हैं, उनमें मॉइस्चर लेवल दूसरी हार्ड चीज़ें से ज़्यादा होता है। ओके। मिल्क फॉर्म्स एंड क्रीम फॉर्म्स। मिल्क की अगर हम देखें तो मिल्क की फॉर्म फॉर्म करने की एबिलिटी नहीं है, ठीक है? और द प्रोटीन व्हिच इज़ प्रेजेंट इन द मिल्क can be extended into thin film by agitation. सिर्फ उसकी हम agitation के through उसकी जो एक thin film जो है वो हम उसको form कर सकते हैं. लेकिन milk does not have an ability to form a stable form, but it can be it can be created by the mixture of undiluted chilled evaporated milk and non-fat dried milk solids. When they are whipped together they can form a foam. Cream foam, whipped cream gets into gets, gets its stability primarily from its high fat content. We all know that the cream present in the milk has an ability to um, to incorporate air in it, and due to that, a uh, uh, whipped cream can be formed. Or speaking to fat globules, other hain and these uh, fat uh, globules get emulsified with the um, rapid agitation and they form foam, cream foams. 